In Genesis chapter 5, we are introduced to Shem. The descendants of Shem are called Shemites. In Hebrew, Shemim. In Genesis chapter 10, we are introduced to Shem's descendants, including Eber, in Hebrew, Ever, and Aram. The descendants of Ever are called Hebrews, Ivrim in Hebrew, and the descendants of Aram are called Arameans, Aramim in Hebrew. The language spoken by the descendants of Shem is called Semitic, in Hebrew Shemit. The descendants of Ever speak Hebrew, Ivrit in Hebrew, and the descendants of Aram speak Aramaic, in Hebrew, Aramit. Both Hebrew and Aramaic were spoken during the Old Testament period. Hebrew in the Near East and Aramaic in the Middle East. While Aramaic survived as a living language to the present day, Hebrew at some point ceased to be the language of the Hebrews, but this point of time has been strongly debated for many years. The Oxford Dictionary of the Christian Church in its first edition in 1958 stated, Hebrew ceased to be a spoken language around the 4th century BC. This belief has been and still is the pervading theory concerning the end of the use of the Hebrew language. However, over the last half of the 20th century, textual and archaeological evidence has revised this theory. The Oxford Dictionary of the Christian Church in its third edition in 1997 now states, Hebrew continued to be used as a spoken and written language in the New Testament period. The Jewish revolt of 135 AD ended in failure and initiated the diaspora, or dispersion, of the Jewish people from the land of Israel. It is at this time that Hebrew ceased to be the language of the Hebrews. However, the Hebrew language did survive in a religious setting, being used in synagogues and yeshivas for learning and teaching Torah and Talmud, which preserved the language. Then, in the late 19th century, Eliezer ben Yehuda began a revival of the Hebrew language as a living language for the Jewish people in Israel. When the State of Israel was established as an independent nation in 1948, Hebrew became the official language and once again became the native language of the Hebrew people.